The dehydration of an alcohol is a specific example of elimination. This process can occur via an E1 or an E2 mechanism depending on the reaction conditions. The net result is that water is removed from the substrate, leaving behind a newly installed pi bond of an alkene. Generic mechanisms for these reactions can be found in the videos on the E1 and E2 reactions. So we'll simply begin here with a specific example. In this example, the alcohol is first protonated by sulfuric acid. This creates an oxonium ion, which is a good leaving group, and so water dissociates from the substrate because it is able to leave behind a reasonably stable secondary carbocation intermediate. This secondary carbocation is adjacent to a tertiary center, and of course a tertiary carbocation would be more stable. Consequently, a 1,2 hydride shift occurs, converting the secondary carbocation into a tertiary carbocation. Finally, water removes a proton from the carbocation intermediate, and as the carbon-hydrogen sigma bond fragments, those electrons collapse in between these two centers, creating the pi bond of an alkene. Regiochemistry and stereochemistry are additional facets of these reactions, which may sometimes be of interest. With the preceding substrate, E2 reaction can be used to avoid carbocation rearrangement if the alcohol is first converted to a tosylate, making it a different sort of good leaving group. E2 reaction with a large bulky base such as tertiary butoxide, will then afford the Hoffman product because the big bulky base will remove a proton from the less substituted beta position, the one that's more sterically accessible. As the carbon-hydrogen bond fragments, these electrons collapse in between alpha and beta, displacing the tosylate, affording the less highly substituted alkene product known as the Hoffman product. The same tosylate can be treated with a small nimble base, such as methoxide, to yield the Zaitsev product via deprotonation at beta prime. However, beta prime has only one proton, so the stereochemistry of the substrate will impact the configuration of the product. In this specific example, a particular stereochemistry at beta prime has been specified. As methoxide removes the proton from that center, the proton must be aligned anti-periplanar to the tosylate leaving group, as seen in this transition state. Notice that the transition state that places the proton to be removed anti-periplanar to the leaving group also places the methyl group trans to the side of the ring bearing a methyl group. And therefore, the Zaitsev product that is formed has that trans orientation of the methyl group on the alkene and the side of the ring bearing a methyl group. The preceding methods are very common but the E2 pathway does require two synthetic procedures. The substrate must first be converted to the tosylate, and then the E2 reaction itself can be conducted. There is an alternative set of conditions in which the substrate is treated with phosphorus oxychloride and pyridine, which will convert the hydroxyl group into a good leaving group that subsequently undergoes elimination in the same reaction vessel. Here is a specific example. In this example, the reaction begins with the attack of the hydroxyl group on the electrophilic phosphorus of phosphorus oxychloride. This ultimately displaces a chloride from the molecule. An intermediate oxonium ion is formed and that oxonium ion loses a proton to pyridine 
to neutralize the charge on the oxygen. At this stage, the hydroxyl group has been converted from a poor leaving group into a good one. And as a result, E2 elimination can now take place. A second equivalent of pyridine removes a proton from what is, in this case, the only beta position. As the carbon-hydrogen bond fragments, those electrons collapse in between alpha and beta, thereby displacing the leaving group. And the product alkene is formed. In summary, there are several available methods for the dehydration of an alcohol. Strong acid can be used. Alternatively, the hydroxyl group can be converted to a sulfonate and then treated with strong base. And yet another option is that the alcohol can be dehydrated using phosphorus oxychloride and pyridine. All of these methods share a common feature, and that is that the hydroxyl group, which is a poor leaving group, is converted into a good leaving group prior to the elimination. This has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback format from Amazon, and in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.